Happy Friday, everybody. It's time for some K-pop, and like I promised, we're doing a full episode of Monster X. Now, I took six songs that y'all had recommended highly. Uh, I still have lots of songs for Monster X, so we might end up even doing a whole nother one of these eventually. Um, we're going to kind of start doing some of these uh, for different groups that have had awesome fandoms, who have had very accepting fandoms, and have been very excited that just someone came in and started listening to their music. So, on those Recommendation Fridays, when I get good reactions that and lots of recommendations, that definitely makes me want to do a full dive-in video of these groups and hear more of their songs. And, you know, I'm keeping myself from listening outside of these because I want these to be my first, like, listens. So we're going to start today with Monster X Shootout. And like I said, this is solid Monster X. So you Monster X fans out there, we this one's for y'all. Let's, let's see what we got. Very nice. Kind of like how it was almost like two different songs in one. Like like the rap lines very much had this very uh, heavy beat, heavy sound. And then you had like kind of like the vocal line that had the, you know, very much emphasized their style. 
really good song. I like it. I, I think I like Monster X. What do y'all think? So hopefully today I can add all of these to my jam playlist or at least to my extra playlist that's not necessarily jam music. But because I don't, I just picked, I picked what y'all said. So uh, that was Shootout. So I need to do, because I don't, I don't want to forget, but I, I like Shootout. So, yep. Uh, second album, Take One. That's that's the one it came from. The, if you need more information right there, it's all right there in front of you. Uh, also liked how like they were dealing with like the Seven Deadly Sins. I, I don't think I caught it up until the end because I was kind of just distracted by watching and listening. But like right there at the end, they were burning like the Envy card. Um, and it was like the matches where it said Wrath on it and stuff like that. So it's really cool. There's always stories. They always got stories. Let's move on to our next song. All right, we have moved on to Rush Hour. All right, got got a car here. It's like a red light. Maybe it's got like flashing lights. I don't know. We'll see. See what Rush Hour's like. That Western Phil. Eat this. Rush hours into the mood, but you don't need time. Don't take the sound. You need big guns, you got little rods. Ah, too hot, why hot it? Ha! Smelling the shit we give. Bye bye, my book will die to know back. Daddy Tiny, young Jang and on Janelle. And she must, she know, cat back. Eat on that yet with jealousy. We got an enough so ability. Did you get out of duality? Check them out that chance, she put quality. She don't go to job, big man. Another good song. What can I say? 
Um, so I'm wondering now I got to really start paying attention to the style that they got going. They start off very strong, very, uh, they, they lay it out. They, they lay it on thick, you know, and they come out and they, they hit you hard with the rap lines. And then it has like this small transition into the vocal where you still get that heaviness of the rap, but then started getting this elevation of the, the vocals. And then they go into the chorus and it's just like, way up there way elevated it's and it's very vocal heavy and then they drop the beat again and then go back in to pull you back down with the hard beats very interesting because it's it's very much how the last song was shootout and uh, now we're in rush hour and it followed that same pattern and it makes a very unique style of the fact that it's not just it, it has that rise and fall of of the music it, it elevates, 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 drops. Elevates, 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 drops. So it, it kind of gives those like good climax. Um, and it, it it's another way of telling a story, I guess is the best way to say it. So now I'm going to really keep my ear out because I've listened to other Monster X songs on this channel before. And now I'm trying to remember, do they do that in those songs or not? I'll have to listen to those on my own again and say that is what they do and if so that's their style and it's it's a good way to kind of pull a lot of people in because it just kind of slaps you in the face from the start i mean he just yeah you saw it so let's move on all right our next one is love killer and so what well like i said we're gonna watch for that same uh style that same uh movement in the music and we'll see if that's what it does. I don't I don't know any of these songs. I haven't heard them. This is all the first time, so I can't even This could be literally a ballad. I don't know. I'm just y'all said check out these songs, so I'm checking them out. So let's let's give it a listen. Love Killer. Got room for one more. There's the drop. I'm sorry, did I make you anxious? Ugh. <laughs> That's right, you look in my eyes Straight into my eyes and just say, I want you eat me like a main dish. To go a day to the hot dish. Eating clish, but I'm gonna pass it. The drum to jack of jogging girl, want it hot. Tall night, I don't get it. I'm a savage, savage. The love is rare. Caponino, man, just a kiss. No beast, that you do. I'm a slay, I'm a chill, I'm a kill. Shake and look, talk a banjo.
Hush, I'ma take you down. Oh, I'm sorry, did I make you anxious? All right, and that was Love Killer. I, I, so I figured out their pattern. We're three for three on that. What is different, though, in each one of these is the bridges. The bridges all each have their own unique style. That one was very vocal heavy. The last one was very rap heavy. I believe the first one that we listened to was vocal heavy. I can't remember now. But yeah, so that one had the drop at the beginning, had the vocal elevate. I kind of pointed that out, but I don't know if y'all could hear me or not. Um, and went into the chorus high and as it goes towards the chorus um the the bottom end starts dropping out but where this one differs from the other two is the bottom end the the baseline and everything came back in the verse but it was still very vocal heavy and then it jumps right back into that rap line and starts over and starts elevating again it's such cool i really like how they do that <clears throat> so We'll have to see if this is something that we continue to hear with Monster X. If so, I got them figured out, man. I got them figured out. And there's nothing wrong with it. Because it works for them, obviously. They're putting out good music. Let's move on to the next. And that was a love killer, by the way. All right, we're going to go with the older one. This was back in 2019. Uh, alligator. I looked at that word. And for some reason, I forgot how to say it there for a second. Alligator. Let's see what this sounds like. Alligator, 
very nice and that was back on the second album take two um if you noticed right there at the beginning it showed pride and sloth so just for me getting two songs from that i'm assuming this was kind of built around the whole seven deadly sins uh for their story on this album y'all can tell me if y'all want y'all don't have to feel free to share down in the comments with everybody that way anybody can also learn what are we uh was that four already? Man, we're moving fast. These are going by a lot faster than I thought. And I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, that one's going to be stuck in my head. Mostly because we do have a cat named Allie. And I do call her Alligator all the time. So I'll, I'll start calling her Allie, 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 Alligator. You know. So. Yep. So far, we haven't heard a bad one. So far, every single one of these are going on my jam playlist. Hopefully... They're going on yours too. If you haven't heard Monster X before, y'all should listen to more. I should listen to more. I like I like their music. It's it's not as some of the other stuff like I listen to like when it comes to K-pop. You know, like y'all if y'all been on my channel before, y'all seen. You know, I I stand ATs. I listen to a lot of Stray Kids. I, I basically stand Stray Kids too. Uh, I'm a multi stan. I'll say it. Um, but there, the Monster X is, you know, some of their stuff is pretty heavier, but like they have some heavier stuff, but it's not like as heavy as the other, as like ATs and Stray Kids, some of the newer stuff. But you can see where these fourth gen groups really get a lot of their inspiration from. You know, groups like Monster X, you know, that's definitely someone that they look towards when they were writing their music and doing their stuff. You can, you see those influences moving for, into these newer generations. Monster X really did um, help shape the music of these newer generations of K-pop. Let's move on to song number five. All right. Coming into 2022, we got Love. So we had Love Killa earlier, and now we just have Love. Once again, with a song like this, we is it just with the title like this title? Is it going to be their same style, or are we going to get more of a ballad? We haven't really heard about. I don't. Do they do ballads? I don't know. I don't mind ballads. It's just not my jam. We'll see. Let's listen. Snap it up, snap it up, 
That was love. Definitely more of a uh, quote unquote ballad, but it's still very much Monster X style. Uh, I feel uh, I feel influence of Michael Jackson in that song. It definitely had that feel, that eighties pop rock feel. Very much Michael Jackson, like just. Very much feel like that's what they pulled influence on it. And yeah, definitely not like a jam song, but still a really good ch- song. It'll probably end up on my other playlist, just my all encompassing every type of music that's out there kind of playlist. It's like over 10 hours of music on that playlist. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. But that that's why, because we I find a song, my wife finds a song, and we just throw it on there. We're like, yep, that's going on that one. That's usually the playlist we listen to like when we go on road trips and stuff like that. That way it kind of changes up, changes up the mood, changes up the vibe a lot. But liked it, loved it. Good song, Monster X. So what are we finishing on today? Because we only got one more. Man, this is, these are moving fast. I I, I guess because they're shorter, some of these, um, sometimes when we're doing this, we, we have a lot of... Uh, like four and a half minute, five minute videos sometimes. So they take a little longer. And these these have been like just bam, 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 bam. So let's move on. All right, we're going way back to 2015. Eight years ago, this is when this was posted. October of 2015. That's crazy. So we, we've been in like 2019, 2022... 2021 is this debut i don't know i i haven't looked to see when they debuted or anything but this is hero and this is the rooftop version it has like 134 million views so it has to be good right let's check it out Y'all nice. know what it is, man. <laughs> Monster! Monster! Monster X is a bitch X. right here. X. What? 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 Okay, man. Let's go. I can be your man. I can be your man. I 
And that was Hero. Definitely an early song from them. Look at that cool logo. I like that logo. And uh, y'all, could, this could be, is this pre-debut? Is this debut? What is this? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Um, feel free to, you know, suggest more Monster X songs. We have a lot of Monster X songs already suggested. But if you, if you suggest more, I just add a little number to the little to my list. That way... You know, I try to pull those songs first. Uh, everything we pulled today were highly suggested by the community. And I really enjoyed all of them. They were all good. This one is in my, you know, it's earlier. Um, I see a big difference between this and their newer stuff. Not necessarily musically, but whereas the newer stuff that I'm seeing is they're very focused on vocals and less dance. This, it shows that they were trying to be more focused on dance and less vocals. Like, they still focused on the vocals, but the way the the verse, or not the the chorus was set up, it was, I'll be your hero, and that's all they were saying. There wasn't any large, you know, chorus lines or anything. It was very much focused on a dance line right there. Uh, and... Just from what I've seen, which is now like eight to six today and the two from before, it's more focused on vocals now because they do have a very strong vocal line. They have a very strong rap line. So I'm, I'm curious, is that something that they, they pulled away from is, yes, they still dance. They still do that. But were they more focused on dance in the beginning and over time have just more focused on their vocal line? Feel free to, you know, uh, let me know down in the comments. That's something that is it's in, it's interesting to see these early gr- these groups in the early days and see how they evolve over time, and see what what maybe they started focusing on or hey this style works more for us than this style and you you see that growth in these groups, and I can see why so many people do. St- you know, 
when a, a new group comes out, they just, if they like them, they just follow them and follow them and follow them and watch how they evolve. You know, when I came into this, Stray Kids and ATs were already um, established groups. And now, but I have gone back and watched Kingdom, you know, when they were babies. I've watched their debut stuff. I've watched their, you know, with um, uh, Stray Kids, I watched, you know, Elevator is one of my favorite songs of theirs. You know, it's pre-debut. Uh, I haven't watched the survival show for them yet. I probably will eventually. I just haven't. Um, you know, with ATs, you see their debut as Pirate King, and they're just out in the middle of a desert, you know, dancing. The, right here, we see a group. This is really cool. I bet you this is really cool for them to be able to dance on the top of a roof, you know. And I, I wonder if any other groups have done this, and it, or if this is something they don't allow anymore. Um, let's see what else. But like. Even like pre debut with ATs, they were very focused on dance. They didn't, they were doing like dance covers and stuff like that. And then they started showing off their vocals. So it, it's, it's really cool to see, you know, where these groups started and where they are now. And just to see that. But yeah, feel free to throw more suggestions in, you Monster X people. Also, other people that are out there watching other fandoms and stuff who just decided to pop in every third Friday of the month. We do recommendation Friday. So feel free to put your recommendations down for that. We always have tons of recommendations. I have a bunch from the last video, a last couple of videos I need to add to my list. I just haven't sat down to do that yet. If you are looking for more, um, reaction based videos, my wife, is Stay Multiverse. I always tag her at the end of these videos. And make sure you go check her channel out. She's mostly focused on straight kids and 80s. But she's a reactor. I'm, I'm just a music listener. And a and a viber. Um, if you're interested in, in video games at all. Check out the rest of my channel. This is a gaming channel. Uh, I got story based games up. I got puzzle based games up. I try to post anywhere between... Three times and five times a week, depending on how the week went or how the weekend went, because I usually do all my recording on the weekend before. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, those those are all on my main page. So you can feel free to click on any of those and watch them and just check those out. If you liked it, make sure you throw a big old thumbs up on it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And, as always, I will see you all next Friday. Goodbye.